Hi, Wilfred. Hi, Paulina. How are you doing? Hi. Good. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Amsterdam currently. And uh, yeah, I, depending on the weather, I'm either in Amsterdam or I have a home in Florida as well. And I travel around the world. So that's, uh, that's a good thing. Eh? Oh, very nice setup indeed. <laughs> I used to live in Canada where it's very cold and we moved to Turkey now. So I understand the whole thing about the weather. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So I invited you here today because um, I've... I've really looked up a lot on your website that you actually, the company you are behind is Digital Blacksmiths. The first of all, the name is amazing. <laughs> and I was, <laughs> it, it raised my curiosity immediately just because of the name. And I tried to look into what you do and I saw that you are saying you are better than other guys. So would you mind telling us more a little bit? Why are you better than the other guys? And what do well, you I, I will never say I'm better than the other guys. My, my approach is different. And the funny thing is my first master is actually finance. So uh, I'm all about numbers, about data, about not uh, uh, expand too much on the finances. But I'm also a marketeer, so I'm a little weird. I use the left and the right side of my brain together. And that's why I came up with a technique to boost your online visibility, to get a lot of uh, traffic for free. Uh, because that's the way to go. And I always look for uh, yeah, the way to please the algorithms, because if you please the algorithms, then they will share the, the, the people to you. Hmm. That's, that's Get a lot of traffic for free. That sounds interesting. I guess it's one of the most <laughs> searched keyword query on Google, how to get yeah. more traffic. <laughs> right. certainly is. And, yeah. <laughs> I have a presentation. I'm not sure if I can show it to you. Uh, yes, yes, we would love to get into that. Yeah, if you, awesome. if you don't mind sharing your screen, we will be listening interested. Yes. Yeah, and I'm also uh, uh, fast as lightning because this is my passion, basically. And at the end, there will be a link to, to download all the slides. So, uh, or you want to have the link in, in your uh, communication as well. We can do that as well. Okay. And uh, let me share my screen here. You talked about my name, but I think also uh, this looks awesome, man. <laughs> Oh, the, yeah. the whole, uh, oh yes, looks very uh, good. <laughs> yes. And yeah, why but digital blacksmiths? Because um, uh, we really do uh, everything manually. Of course, we use tools to, to 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 see what the best approaches are. But it's all about the TLC, a tender love, care, and also the other C of consistency. Because if you're there every day for your clients and you provide value for them, then uh, I always say it's my motto in life: provide value first, and the money will follow. That's the same uh, with all the algorithms. If you provide value, people care about you. They will start to share, interact, and uh, ultimately buy your product. So yeah, for today, I have 30 key elements. And just interrupt me whenever you want, eh, if you have questions. Uh, I also share today five warnings that would cost you your business eh, because the algorithms really hate automation. Uh, that's why I say you always uh, have to be there uh, all the time. And yeah, why use digital marketing? You want to be in control, eh? maybe uh, there are a few animations in there. Let me s display my presenter screen and the other screen, because otherwise you cannot see those amazing animations. <laughs> you want to be in control of your business. Eh? And especially if you're an Amazon seller, then um, yeah, you're not in control. Uh, I spoke at uh, ASGTG, it's the second biggest meetup of Amazon uh, in the world. I spoke there in January. 600 people were there combined. They did $20 billion in revenue on Amazon. It's crazy. And I always ask the question, who of you is in control of his business? And nobody raised his hand because I like Amazon. I don't get me wrong. I don't have anything against them. I even spoke at Amazon headquarters uh, last year. But yeah, you're not in control. It's their website. It's their clientele. And I always say, trust is good. Control is better. And uh, yeah, that's why you need to be in control and have a social media presence, have a many chat list, uh, have an awesome website. And I will talk about that in a minute as well. And why use digital marketing? Well, it's the difference. If you sell with free traffic between a warehouse full or a warehouse uh, or a garage box empty, eh? because people will go to you and talk about you. You need to create more value. A lot of people have an exit strategy when they sell on Amazon. But if you only sell your Amazon listing, you will get a, a nice price for it. But if you also sell it combined with a list, uh, as I said, and, and uh, a good following on Amazon or uh, on Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, yeah, everything combined, it's so much more value. Eh? If you have a 
Facebook page with 100,000 people interacting with your business, it's almost printing money on demand. Eh? And you want to be in top of mind. Eh? This is actually uh, uh, in, in Holland uh, when they filmed this. And this is uh, the, yeah, the new generation. Eh? It's a little choppy. I'm not sure if you saw it, but this girl is actually driving their bike with uh, the, the telephone in her, in her hand. And it's just, she just smacks into a van. She doesn't pay attention at all. And uh, yeah, it's good and bad news. Eh? The good news is uh, you can be on top of mind. Eh? She could look at your head when you do that. I, hope, I, I don't hope so, but it can be. The bad news is we lost our mind as a society. Eh? And, yeah, the fifth reason why you should use digital marketing, that's uh, because Amazon loves you for it. Eh? And uh, yeah, somehow my system is, is blocking. But um, uh, they have an all new uh, setup, uh, the attribution program. We actually uh, are using that as well. And the attribution program will actually show you where your external traffic is coming from. It's that important. I did a test with a few other uh, uh, sellers, and we got a, uh, an article ranked page one without one sale and without one review. And how do we do it? We rank one on Google. Because Amazon and Google are also related to each other. If you're important for Google, Amazon thinks, oh, then you're important for me as well. So the first... Uh, just a minute. I, Could you tell us yes. a little more about this uh, previous slide? What's this beta program about? Like, what does it do? Well, what it's uh, do, it's, it's basically show you where your external traffic is coming from. And we're very blessed to be in the first group of advertisers that is testing the, the new beta F F F version. So we're actually testing it out now. But what it will do, it uh, analyzes your media challenge uh, of Amazon. So mm. if you sell products, let's say you have a YouTube app running, you have a Facebook app running, you do something on Instagram and on Pinterest, it will show you you sold 100 products, 10 of them sold through YouTube, uh, 50 through uh, Facebook ads. And yeah, you will have an awesome feel of uh, yeah, what's happening. Uh, with your external traffic. And that's why you see, for example, if YouTube is it's working awesome for you, scale that one. Eh? We always like to find the winners and scale it to the moon. And that's why I also say Amazon is loving you for it because this, this program will actually show you where your external traffic is coming from. 50% of all sales online is done on Amazon. That's a lot, but it still means that 50% is done elsewhere. And that's why they love you for it if you send in new people. There are actually people out there that never bought an Amazon before. It <laughs> will not believe it almost, but uh, great. yeah. So the first key element, if uh, uh, yeah, I like to give away to boost your online visibility, it's maybe a cliche, but from now on, if you post something, your clientele, your niche should be going like, oh my, oh my god, oh my god, this is awesome. If you post something that doesn't get people of their feet or get them laughing or sharing your content yeah just just don't do it eh? don't post that stuff uh, a little bit about myself uh, i always said i'm on the good side of 50 but not anymore since a few months now i'm, I'm 50 years old uh, i was ceo of a multi-million dollar firm in holland and i was on the payroll so it, 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 i felt like an entrepreneur but every month i had to uh, go to the shareholders and talk about what we're doing so i started my own firm uh, two years ago now Working online uh, yeah, since the Stone Ages, and as I said, that provides value first and the money will follow. This is actually my Facebook reach last year, and I did it with a $10,000 budget. So uh, <laughs> wow. okay. yeah, that's amazing. And yeah, as I said, I fly all around the world. And also, it's a nice phrase in the US, eh? your net worth is your network. And yeah, that's for me as well. Eh? I, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. It's Neil Patel, Jerry Roberts, Kevin King. He's one of the best. Uh, um, yeah, that's, yeah, we uh, know Kevin. We know Kevin very well. Hi, yeah, Kevin, if you're watching. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is an awesome wife, by the way. She's also very nice, Valerie. And yeah, he, he, uh, I can call Kevin my friend now. And I met him two years ago in Hawaii. And from, the, from that moment on, we, we spent time together. And it's very important to watch podcasts like this, eh? to spend at least 10 to 20% a day on personal education because everything changes so much. And I, I also uh, am an author of the upcoming book, The Secrets of Social Media. So that will be, uh, uh, yeah, I'm always finishing it. So that's also exciting. But back to where uh, the action happens, eh? we're here for the people that are watching this. So what will happen 22 and 20 up? 
I got this from Frank Kern at a, at a traffic summit in San Diego. The future belongs to those companies who are willing to invest in real-time one-on-one interaction. And I will come to that in a minute as well with some examples. But a lot of companies, they get messages in Facebook uh, inbox or on Instagram or whatever, and they don't reply. And yeah, that's killing for your business. Yeah? So what I also say, if you are big on uh, social media, you basically own a free newspaper. And I always grab this brand. And the funny thing is, I always use this brand in my presentations. And finally, they started posting because this brand has 1.6 million likes on Facebook. And this is what I did in six months. They only posted a few uh, salesy pictures and that's it in six months if this was my client we help clients boost their online visibility i can reach at least half a million people for free every day so if half a million people see your brand all the time yeah they will eventually start buying and in this case you see it as well eh? even people start to get angry faces uh, so as i said eh, you control the message and this is one of my uh, favorite videos uh, that's around there let me kill the kill the sound on this one uh those girls are watching a sports game and there is nobody watching uh, the, the game they're all glued to their phone and as i said it's good and bad news eh? the bad news is we lost our mind as a society yeah the good news is they share your content if you do it the correct way and i will show you a few examples yeah it's actually amazing what will happen there eh? because uh, yeah and I also say a lot, of, especially with Amazon sellers, uh, he's DTG, 70% of the room didn't even have a Facebook account. This is a wake-up call. Eh? So if you have a social media presence, don't just sell. If I look at Facebook pages of clients that look like this, and this is not what people love to see. Eh? The process I always promote is it's about content attraction. You want to get them in with quality content. Then you will get social engagement. People start to like you, start to share, start to talk about you. And if you, they see you every day, it eventually leads to sales and conversions. And you can send them straight to Amazon eh? or send them straight to your own website. And I always like to promote my snowball model. This is the money side. This is where the action happened. It can also be your Amazon listings, of course. You want to rank for keywords on Google, search engine optimization. You want to do some ads because what you want to do is send people to your Amazon listing or to your website. You use Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest as a leverage also to send them to your website. Communicate one-on-one -on -one with them and then you want to have this thing start to roll. And if you just start out, there are 7,000 automation tools. It's incredible. So I will give you my tools that I'm using. I'm not uh, uh, holding back. I, I'm about sharing is caring. And there is so much to go around. There's so much abundance in the world that I don't believe in competition. So if we look at a website, for example, first, you can create a store. Eh? You can create a Shopify store. It's one of my best to sell your products straight on Shopify. Or you can create a blog uh, website where you just put on quality content and just send them straight to Amazon, to your Amazon listings. One thing that's very important, it's all about trust and credibility. So always have a big telephone number at the top and people will hardly call you, but just the fact that you have a telephone number at the top means that you are for real. You're not hiding, they can call you anytime. And as I said as well, make it easy to connect. It's about the one-on-one -on -one connections. Have a Facebook Messenger widget on your website as well. You can automate 90% of all the questions. Yeah, most people have a frequently asked question set, and you will see that 90% yeah, of all people always have the same questions. What about shipping? Do you ship internationally? Uh, 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 where can I get your, uh, how, how does it operate? Or where can I find my warranty? All that things you can just put in a messenger bot with a chat widget and I will come to that as well. Yeah, and the first thing you should do is, uh, it has to be usability. Eh? This is voted the worst website of uh, 2018. <laughs> and I can understand why. Look at this that. is not uh, uh, about visibility. Eh? And this is one thing that will Google will certainly look at is, uh, is it easy to navigate? Is it easy to find? Do you have quality content there? Uh, I will skip this slide a little bit uh, faster eh? because I have so much to tell that uh, otherwise I will run out of time. But I will, uh, and the people will have the, the possibility to download the slides. Eh? So what can you put on your websites? And people also say, uh, it's so hard to find content. Well, 
post stuff like this. Articles, press releases, videos, podcasts, live streaming, ebooks, infographics, uh, quotes, contests, pictures about your products, facts, tips and tricks, uh, everything you can put on your website. And if you do it the right way, your website starts to get traffic and then what Google will pick up. They see, oh, something is happening in that niche. Let's uh, look at them closer. And SEO, search engine optimization, is so important eh? because 80% of all clicks, eh, the free organic stuff, when you look at, the, at things, are done in the free organic way. Eh? Only 20% is done through ads. So if I just randomly pick a bestseller on Amazon, uh, this is a flea and tick collar. I just grabbed that one. And this is the first tool I will give away. Uh, I have a tool called serpstat.com. You can use it for free. If you put in flea and tick collar, you see how many people are searching for that particular keyword every month, 3,600 in this case, and you see that the keyword difficulty is very low. So if you sell flea and tick collars, start to write about uh, articles like this, five flea and tick treatments that don't work, it's not clickbait eh, because the article itself should always be uh, quality. You use Facebook to post your, uh, your article and then people come back. And that's why I say you get the snowball model rolling. Eh? And uh, we did uh, this for a client. It's actually amazing. We posted five quality blog posts every day. So it's, it is a lot of work, but that's why I say it's a lot of TLC, eh? tender love and care. We got them 900,000 clicks straight to the website. We paid four and a half thousand dollars for it because if you do it the right way, Facebook and Google don't want your money. They say you're awesome. Keep doing what you will do, what you do best. Uh, of course, we will take some money out of your hands, but uh, we got the CPC and clicked straight to the website for zero 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 five cents. And uh, also, if people love what you're doing, your click to rate will go up, and yeah, your impressions will go up as well. And we got. Uh, uh, five and a half million impressions for four and a half thousand dollars spent and this is what ezra firestone is always promoting and i love ezra firestone what he's doing mm -hmm. post a quality content on your facebook page eh? top five makeup tips send them straight to your website and this is his wife's website uh, it has to be quality again and halfway there of course you can promote your products people uh, don't mind because eh, they come to your website as an awesome article and then you want to get them into the door so quality content is one of the most important things. Then look at your SEO score eh, from a Google perspective. How does Google look at your website? And here's my second tool I always use. It's seotesteronline.com. Again, it's a free tool and I'm not affiliated to those tools at all. Eh? They're all free. Of course, they have a paid subscription, but I always lose the, the, the free version. You can just put in your website, and in this case, if we stay to the tick and flea color, if you put in pet basics, you see they have a 76, uh, 67, sorry, out of 100. Uh, if they improve their social, they will go to an 80 out of 100. And the higher you rank in your niche, the more keywords you are getting. Eh? And that's basically how that works. And a third important thing is authority backlinks. Eh? That's relevant websites uh, mention your website and the more the better because yeah you want to have as, as much authority backlinks as possible and uh, a tool i use is hrefs.com and um it's not free from the beginning you need to sign up for some seven day free trial or whatever but then you can cancel it and then you're allowed to, to have one search a day sometimes that's enough eh? and a big warning sign don't ever buy links eh? Uh, this is just a random uh, company I, I picked. Eh? If they, uh, uh, the, uh, the CEO is watching this now, uh, take my word for it that you do something wrong or your company is doing something wrong because this is a, a company that's selling on Amazon and on their website in the US. But 97% of all the links come from Russia. So they did something wrong. You can buy links. There are actually companies selling links. Never do it because if I can find this in seconds, let alone what the big algorithm of Google can do. Eh? They know everything. and uh, uh, Yeah, don't ever do that. Eh? You see 97% is all spammy links. We had a client, they say, we already have a few uh, a thousand links, so we're, we're awesome. And, and we looked at them and said, well, they are all spammy. So we disavowed them. You can say to Google, we don't want those links. And you see their href ranking went up 1.7 million spots. And we... We, uh, we deleted 90% of all the backlinks. So backlinks need to be 
built uh, organically. Eh? You can do guest blogs. You can reach out to, to uh, um, uh, big websites that are in your niche and say, hey, I have a, a, a quality blog content. Can we put my article on your content? And you can put your article on my website, for example. And that's how you do share blogs, for example. And yeah, this is also very, um, uh, it's funny, but also strange that our intention span nowadays is lower than a goldfish. Eh? People are bored within seconds. And that's why your website should be fast loading as well. And you should optimize for space, space uh, sorry, page speed all the time. Uh, I use a tool, free tool again, it's my third tool I use, GT Metrics. It's an amazing tool. And if you look at a Fortune 500 company like Dollar Tree, I just put in this uh, tool in the GT Metrics settings, and you see the, the website takes 11 seconds to load. And it's something people really hate is when they're on my phone, that's 70% of all traffic is done through a mobile phone, and they need to wait for 11 seconds. They will never do that. After two seconds, they're bored and get go to another website. So you should get your page speed up, and we do that as well. Eh? We have uh, people on our team uh, boosting websites. Uh, we, you can get them up to two seconds. So if I uh, uh, look at those three tools, uh, where do you stand compared to your competitors? So let's assume that this is my website. Uh, hemp oil is very uh, powerful nowadays. Let's say Serenity Valley is my brand. I go to Serpstat and I put in my URL in Serpstat, and Serenity Valley Hemp Co. And I see that 240 keywords I rank for. I see that I have 250 in traffic. I see my keywords, what I'm ranking for. Funny thing is, I'm not into hemp or whatever, but marijuana socks. Thousand people look for that keyword every month. So, <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what it is, but it's a very powerful keyword. And uh, so write about marijuana socks in this case. Eh? If I write an article about it, it's amazing. What you also can see on Serpstat is the competitors in your niche, and let's, let's just grab one, cbdsense.com, and if I put cbdsense in that tool, I see they have 144,000 people for free every month from Google, because they rank for 2,000 keywords. And uh, if I go down a little in the search, same search set, you see that uh, they probably did it over years, but that's not the case. They started the end of May, and they went up extremely fast. And uh, yeah, that's just providing quality content uh, and spread the word out there. Then it can be very fast if Google picks up what you're doing. What should you write about? Well, also go to your competitor, see what their ranking, high rankest uh, blog posts are about. Cannabis oil, CBD user manual, buying cannabis oil. So write an article about that topic as well and make it better make it longer, make it more quality, because then you basically grab the, the traffic your competitor is getting. Eh? Then we go for speed, eh? because that's very important. We go, I put in my Serenity Valley Hemco in, in GT Metrics, see that I score an F and a D, and it takes eight seconds to load. Again, if I look at my competition, that's why they are ranking number one. They have uh, uh, green scores. It's not A, but at least it's in the green. It takes four seconds, and it's even a little long, but it's better than my uh, seven or the 11 seconds. And also, when I look at it from an SEO tester online standpoint, they score a 68, I score a 40. So I really need to improve my visibility. I need to improve my content. I don't have any content on my website. Uh, I need to boost my mobile performance, so my speed needs to go up. I need to boost my social. And yeah, just from a comparisons perspective, do this exercise, do it with five of your competitors. Look why they are ranking uh, 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 as good as they, they are and why you are lagging. And then you will see amazing results. And yeah, one of the big things to boost your ranking is use press releases. Eh? And uh, I'm not sure if uh, Norm has ever been on your podcast. He's an amazing yes, guy. Yes, he oh. has. Yeah, yeah, he has a nice digital background with his Hawaiian house that he used to live in. Like yeah, big. yeah, yeah. We do this together. Eh? We have PR reach and uh, yeah, we have press releases going on and the mm, distribution yes, makes yes. a difference. Eh? Uh, uh, if you do press releases combined with free rebates on, on product launches, yeah, yeah, it will be amazing. And I have a few examples in a minute. But also when you are 
uh, uh, doing press releases and your features of Fox, ABC, CBS, you can just put those logos on your website as well. And eh? that's again, trust and credibility. A few of our examples, we did this one, a uh, long-term keyword without any rebate, just by promoting uh, uh, press releases. And this, the lowest position was 17. We got them up to number one. And unfortunately, I cannot give away the keyword, of course, because otherwise everyone will jump on it. And this is Helium 10. And it's also an amazing piece of software. And we got them a ranked number one. This is another uh, awesome one. It's a primary keyword. We did this with rebrands, but when we started, it was position 94. We got them all the way up to number one. They see those chunks. That is actually because the stock was so we're running out of stock. You didn't have the finances to get the stock up and running. And that's actually, uh, yeah, it's sad, of course, but because we need to do in all the work again to get ranked number one. But yeah, you see how amazing the work. Huh? So that's why I say the snowball model comes into effect. Your website is awesome. Google is sending you a lot of traffic. You need to do ads as well. You can do Google AdWords at the top or Google Shopping ads. If you have a brick and mortar store, you need to be in the box. I would say that this 90% of all clicks go through the money box. But the most important thing is uh, start uh, doing ads on YouTube. It's the second biggest large, uh, large uh, search engine. You can do pre-roll ads. If you search in a particular niche for an ad, you can just claim the first one minute. And as long as people don't click the skip ad button, uh, or if they click the skip ad button, you, you do not have to pay anything. It's amazing for brand awareness. And we did it for a client last month. We got them 10,000 clicks. It actually says use, but we got them clicks. And again, I hate to spend money. So we, we kept it on five cents a click. We even got it for two cents a click. The beautiful thing also is we got 47,000 people watching the video for at least a few seconds. Uh, 37,000 of them clicked the skip ad button, but okay, at least we got some brand awareness for free and we don't have to pay anything. We paid for those 10,000 clicks and yeah, it's amazing. Eh? Also use the best videos eh? and uh, this is also what we white label. If you have a video like this, um, I'm not sure why it's not running, but uh, use real actors to, uh, to do it. And, uh, uh, here we go. Uh, I'm a little impatient. <laughs> but uh, if you see something like this. Wow, it's minty. I like that. Nothing like chemical about it at all. Wow, this is really fantastic. Be used every single day. <laughs> it's really soft and smooth. It tastes really natural. It's a bit choppy, I guess, at the picture, but you will get uh, the feeling. Those are just actors. Don't. <laughs> don't let them hear it. <laughs> Keep it inside this podcast. Those are just actors saying that this product is amazing. Mm, and nice it, idea. It's a very nice idea, actually, to get like, uh, it appears like people on the street are trying your product. This is great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they say it's uh, all the benefits. It's really fantastic. It's smooth. It's, it's amazing. And we do those videos. Huh? We have a whole team uh, creating those videos. And uh, yeah, this is amazing because uh, it's, gives you the benefits and as you say as well with real people then uh yeah it's actually amazing so and if you have a video like this as a pre-roll before all other ads it's amazing a few takeaways i got it from tom breeze he's an amazing uh youtube uh, uh ad guru and uh, he's doing around 100 million uh, in youtube ad spend so he knows this, uh, what he's doing and that's why i say your network should be so important huh? He said there has to be a call to action within the, the first three seconds because otherwise people are bored. You may you let them make them skip after 30 seconds because if people just watch you and they say, okay, I'm not interested, but I will watch the whole video. You pay for YouTube after 30 seconds or after a click. So you should say after 25 seconds, if you do not have a dog, eh, let's say I'm in the, the, the take and free caller. If you do not have a dog, just click the skip ad button after 25 seconds. And people are sheep, eh? they will always oh, need to click the button because I don't have a dog. Because people without a dog will never buy a flea collar uh, or uh, without a cat. Call out the action. So at the end, you say, oh, now you need to click the, skip, the, the, the link because you then go to my page and buy my awesome product. And uh, also what he said is if you have a countdown timer at the end, that's actually amazing as well because that will get you uh, 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 yeah, a lot of clicks more as well because people are, oh, I need to click somewhere. And you, you get them out of there. Uh, you, you, you basically get them into action. Eh? And the length of the video, this is actually an amazing takeaway. It was 80 seconds. 
why don't ask me because uh, we just watched the data or Tom watched this data and he said the length the awesome length of the video is 80 seconds and that's the way to go so then also you have social media we have the snowball rolling but content is fire social media social media is actually the gasoline and this picture is amazing they those girls uh, and, and guy as well they wanted a puppy and they asked their dad can we have a puppy and the, the dad said well if you got one million likes, you will get a puppy. They got it in one day. And <laughs> that's how social media works. If things go viral, yeah, it's, there's no stopping it. Eh? And uh, this guy wanted to have sex with his neighbor, also one million <laughs> likes. It took him one day longer. <laughs> Please share and like. And I think Catherine also knows what's going ahead to happen. But yeah, that's how social media works. Eh? If things go viral, it's, it's amazing. We have accounts that grow 10,000 overnight because the, the yeah, what we publish goes viral and yeah how long does content last and that's why i say it should be there with a lot of tlc and the other c consistency every five hours a facebook page is gone because there are so many other posts uh, uh, on top of that one then it's, it's gone and that's why i say invest as well in quality blocks and if you have a press release you can use it as a block as well because it can stay all the way up to five years sometimes and yeah, I always look at social media as a field of flowers, but you need to put in the seed first, you need to give it water, love, attention. But everyone is always looking for the shortcut. They buy flowers, put it in the garden, a week later it looks like this. Eh? It's no shortcut, there is no black hat technique. Of course, you can use black hat, but it's not sustainable. Eh? You will have the instant fix like a drug for a few days, but they will penalize you eventually. Yeah, and, and again, try to be creative and go viral. We had a client that's in the uh, the sleeping gear pillows and cushions and mattresses yeah find something appealing find a hook and we come up with this video when you sleep to someone uh sleep, sleep next to someone that's snoring it's, it's black now i hope somehow my system is lagging or you see him snoring let's start all over so you see the dog snoring like crazy and then we go to the poor cat and yeah this is what facebook is all about eh? and if you then say um uh, the, the dog is sleeping at my awesome product uh we got uh, 216,000 people for free because this one go uh, went viral and um yeah after it 25,000 reach then we put in the link of our client uh, and you, it just, just the, the link is there because we have a client that sells uh, pillows and mattresses. So you have a hook here and uh, yeah, that's how you get viral. If you are in the relationship niche or the dating niche, find a hook. If you post something like this, I wish my wife was this dirty, yeah, it will go viral. And uh, you have all kinds of relationship niches. So fortunately, uh, I don't have to use it eh, because I'm happily married. But if you have a hook like this, it will go viral. And normally on stage, you have to ask a question every six minutes. Say, eh? you know, that this is an expert speaker as well. So I always ask normally who wants to see the secret Facebook algorithm. Me. Well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. Uh, and this is basically it. It's about the interest of the user in you. So how interested is the user in what you're doing? So if you post a lot of quality content, their interest will be high. What is the post performance amongst other users? So basically, what are you doing compared to your competitor? What is your post doing compared to other posts you did before? So if you only uh, do salesy posts, the algorithm will think, oh, there is that guy again, just uh, uh, he will not get any reach. What type of content are you promoting? Is it a picture, a video, or a blog? Uh, the, uh, the video is the best, then you have an image, and then you have the blog post. And how new is it? I see also a lot of people posting content. We, two weeks later, they do the same thing. And that's not what the algorithm wants to see. And I always compare the algorithm with a bouncer. Huh? You want to go inside to that amazing club, but the bouncer says, well, you're not allowed to go in. And uh, your competitor is allowed to go in, or basically it's the other way around, of course, because we do an amazing job. And only when, you, when they give you the reach, then you go viral. Because if they look at your post and they say, oh, well, we'll not show it to anyone, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And if you boil all this down, and there are actually another 100,000 other factors into place, but if you break it down, it's one word, value. Provide value first, 
and uh, the money will follow and you want to tickle the algorithm and eh? it needs to be if you post something oh yeah awesome and yeah this is what we did uh, a few weeks ago and uh, yeah that's actually amazing eh? you see here we reached 12 million people for free organic by uh, yeah posting different things so you want to know what should i do 80% of all your posts should be value. So it's value, value, value pitch. Uh, post inspirational quotes. Uh, interact with your fans. Uh, balance your post. Eh? Do a picture, then a video, then a blog. Not only pictures or all, not only videos. Ask questions to interact with them. Hold a contest and run a poll. Uh, uh, if you do that the right way, then uh, you will see amazing things happening. And also one big mistake 90% of all people make is the time of um, day they post. They come into their office, they think, oh, I need to post something, take a picture and post it online. But here you will see when people post business pages, that's the blue section, and in, in the yellow one, you see when people are online. So start posting. You can mm -hmm. see that if you mm -hmm. go into your insights eh, from your Facebook page, you see when people are actually online. So don't post at 8 a.m. because nobody is online. And I said, uh, there are 3,500 posts fired upon you every day. And uh, yeah, it's ridiculous if you uh, uh, start posting at 8 a.m. There are so many posts uh, out there uh, later on that you will not get any reach. That's so I love to show uh, case studies. I love to show uh, to, to mix up my, uh, uh, my slides. And I actually did this with Howard Tai. He's also... Uh, uh, well known in the Amazon world, eh? the professor of Amazon yeah, in China. Professor. Yeah, yeah. We uh, created a program called Rebate Me, and I started. Uh, I was at this mastermind. I spoke there at the end of July, so we started from scratch and got it to four thousand page likes already in just a few months, and we got uh, fifty-five thousand reach when we just started in a week. And you see the amazing growth, and we just we did it with posting quality content and uh, we look at it now uh, this is uh, a little older but even now we reach 85,000 people for free 14,000 engagement and uh, all quality people eh? it's all US 61,000 people we reached we focus on women eh? in this case for rebates there are more intent to, uh, to do the rebates but we can focus on men as well because if you have an engagement ad running you can just pick and choose your own audience and uh, yeah, you see here, post quality content on a regular basis. And it's, it's organic, free, uh, free stuff. And maybe you think this is not appealing at all, but this is what people love to see. Yeah? Life is a soup and I'm a four. That's what people can relate to. <laughs> uh, and I also say I love to get my hands dirty. Yeah, that's why I'm digital blacksmith. I post some of my stuff myself. And in our company, we even have contests going on. We have, where's the most viral, uh, post in this week so we're very competitive but if you start posting be funny be instructive be authentic be interactive and most of all be real yeah, shopping is cheaper than therapy it's just curated content but this is what people love to see that's what i interact with and another important thing is get the response badge and the only way to do it if you have your messenger connected to medichat for example because if you get this green batch, you will get 10% more reach instantly because you have the batch. That's why Facebook cares about you. Eh? And um, yeah, another important thing, interact. You see here, uh, some guy said, hey, Carlo, thank you so much. Uh, we, we, uh, he shared our content. And then we say, hey, Carlo, thank you so much for sharing. And what happens is that he will give us a, a, a heart and say, thank you, love to share good content. And what happens now is that we have a client that has the VIP feeling, eh? he's, he's feeling awesome. But Facebook, the algorithm also see that you really care about your audience because they see that you're actually reaching out and you do an amazing thing. And one big thing to grow your page, if you have a person liking your post, you can click on the likes and then you can invite them to like your page and never use any automation and it has to be uh, on a manual basis, and again, it's a lot of TLC, but uh, yeah, the, the rewards will be there. And run an appealing like campaign. Eh? People need to, to love you for it. And uh, yeah, you see here, we paid five cents per like. Also, the important thing is we get a 10 uh, relevant score, and uh, that changed a lot on, on Facebook greatly. But yeah, that means that you are very important in the eyes of Facebook, and all ads you were running from that moment on, 
yeah, they will not get a 10 instantly, but at least you will piggyback upon them. And this was also very funny. We tried to rig the system. Eh? We run our like campaign on one of my pages uh, I've running. We did one without the arrow because they need to click here. And uh, what do you think? The one with the arrow did better or the one without the arrow? Yeah, maybe with the arrow. Maybe. Yeah, that's also what I thought. But again, we with the arrow, we paid 11 cents per like. Without the arrow, we didn't pay anything or anything, 7 cents. So you see that if you try to rig the system and rigging a system means that you you're not about your post, you're only about the like, the algorithm will catch you for it eh? and you will pay a lot more money. Your mm -hmm. click-through rate will be lower. So, uh, yeah, what I always say, don't rig the system. Eh? Be real, be authentic, and it's all about uh, caring for your clientele. So what not to do on Facebook? Uh, of course, poor grammar. Eh? Here, uh, ladies love the smell of my new column, Dr. Pepper. It's just a big name, but uh, they, uh, they screwed up here. And another uh, big thing, the TOS, eh? we know the Amazon TOS is uh, as long well from here to Turkey. Eh? We uh, printed it out, but uh, it's the same on Facebook. You don't want to get banned. Eh? Uh, and it's the same on Google. Eh? They have a whole section you need to go through because there's a very thin line between your Facebook ad and Facebook's ad policy. Eh? And I have so many clients come to me and say, uh, yeah, I, I got banned from Facebook. And there's, yeah, it's, it's very hard to get back from it. Eh? So read the whole TOS. And in the beginning, I said, never buy likes or uh, links. Also, never buy likes. I have a beauty company in the US as a client now. And they said, well, we already have 100,000 people. So uh, don't do Facebook. It's already awesome. And I said, well, let me post something because we like to go viral. And I, I got only 1,000 people at my post. And I thought, did I lose my magic wand? And then I, I said, uh, can I go in as an admin and check it out? And we saw that 94% of his uh, pages uh, people are from Bangladesh, male 1834. And it's a beauty brand in the U.S. It should be 94% female, uh, 2554. So his whole audience uh, was totally wrong. And I said, what did you do? He said, yeah, well, I bought, I bought likes in, uh, in the past. So never do that. Huh? Or have the organic free growth. And your ads, as I said, also in the beginning, will also be a lot cheaper. Here we have a client and we posted an ad. We paid for 18,000 people. We kept posting three times a day quality content. A week later, we only paid for 11,000 people. And again, we kept posting quality content. And then we only paid for 5,000 people. And you see, if you really are there, you go from 18 paid all the way to five, they will get the money from your competitor because you do an amazing job. And again, it's all about the relevant score. In this case, we also get a 10. And that means your, your quality of the traffic will be as high. If you have a relevant score of two, they will just give you some random uh, people that will never click or, or like anything. Yeah, and the next best thing, uh, being famous on Instagram is like being rich in Monopoly back in the day. Uh, yeah, Instagram is very powerful for 1834. Eh? That's, the, that's the new uh, uh, focus groups. They really don't like their Facebook that much. How to crush it? Use nine hashtags. Go to a website called tops-hashtags.com. You can find them there and see how appealing they are. Uh, so for every post, use nine hashtags. Don't do every 30 because that's considered spam. Use quality images. They actually are testing now in some countries that they, you cannot see how many likes you have because they are want, want you to focus on, on the quality of the image. Use a hashtag that's related to the image. Uh, let's say I'm into the coffee. People say coffee all the time and I post, let's say, uh, a, a random person on a bicycle. I'm not sure why I should post it, but don't use the word coffee then because it doesn't have any interaction. And uh, the Facebook algorithm, because Instagram is also from Facebook, they can scan your picture within 0, 0010 cents of a second. So they know instantly what's on your picture. Uh, you can use IGTV. Yeah? It's like the uh, Facebook Live or YouTube Live. You can post stories. It's a little different. So you can do swipe ups if you have 10,000 followers or more. And uh, yeah, that's actually amazing. Eh? And uh, in this case, sorry, this is in Dutch, but this is from one of our clients. We got a 1.8 million reach without zero ad spend. And uh, another thing as well, what I forgot to tell you, if you use nine hashtags, 
use three very popular ones, 500,000 or up. You can find that on top hashtags. Eh? Use three that are in between 100,000 to 500,000. And use three hashtags that aren't that popular because you want to be in the first nine in the popular section. Because if that happens, you can grow 10,000 followers overnight. We see that happen uh, sometimes. And it's amazing, eh, that feeling. So we use social media. Again, we send people to the website. We have ads running. We have our free organic keywords. Then you want to communicate. Eh? If you're on Amazon, you can create audience, lookalike audience, custom audience. Just download. Uh, you can go to the reports tool and download your, uh, your uh, orders. Um, yeah, start also with brand reputation analysis and interact with your audience. And don't do it like this. This brand, uh, Zilate Affinity Knife, they say, uh, post your best picture below in the comment section. Please surprise us. And if you go there, the first post is, how do I return mine? And uh, the funny thing is, I took the screenshot when it was one week old. And if you go in now, it's now one year old. And poor Jane actually has three other profile pictures already. I actually liked her comment. And three things happen now. The algorithm sees that you're not interacting with your clients. If I'm a new client, I think something is wrong with the product because the C wants to return it. And poor Jane is uh, mad about this company because they don't answer this. So if you have questions, answer them immediately. Yeah? And also check your comments because competitors want to put in spammy posts or let's say you have an ad running and they say cheap day break, nobody will ever buy from you. Eh? So check your comments as well and delete those questions if they are not appealing enough. Luckily, we have a tool. Unfortunately, I cannot share what tool it is, but that will actually delete the comments within seconds based upon keywords. Mm, nice. And, uh, yeah. And another thing that's important, uh, that's the Facebook Messenger. 1.2 billion users are out there. Only 100,000 businesses use the Facebook Messenger, and it's so powerful, as I said in the beginning, 90% of all the companies doesn't respond within five minutes. And if you have a Messenger bot running, it will answer in seconds, 24-7, 365 days a year. And it's so easy, yeah? Also, when you run ads, you have a Facebook ad running, get a welcome message going on, and have a conversation on your uh, many chat or uh, other things. That uh, chat manic is also some one thing we use. So in this case, this is one of our clients. I click the Get Started button. And hi, Wilfried. We're so glad you choose to join us today. Have you ever shopped with us before? And I say, of course. First, I would like to thank you for being a valued customer. And again, it's the VIP uh, feeling uh, I get. So how can I help you today? I can check the about us section, the website, the future promotion. In this case, I click future promotions. You have a double opt in there, so you should ask again. Uh, do you certainly want to have the future promotions? Then I just click, yeah, I love to. Clay, uh, great, please provide us the email address. It's pretty filled, eh? you don't have to do anything. You're all set. We will begin sending you promotions as soon as we have them available. Thank you for chatting with us. This is all an automation. But me as a client, I get the VIP feeling and I'm, I'm not even knowing that this is not done by a, a real person, it's done by a bot. So how do you take control with Messenger? You can build a powerful Messenger launch list eh, to rank your products. If you have people on your list, you can use it to launch new products. Uh, you can increase your verified reviews. And again, never ask for a review where well, you need to do it a little bit more appealing. For example, say, hey, did you like our product? Or I never give them something in return for a review. And you can interact with your loyal customers. You can even use it if you have a new product, give them four designs. What design do you like best, A, B, C, or D? And if 90% of all the people say we love design A, a better, before you launch your product, you know now that your design is what people in your niche love to see. And you only need 2,000 plus subscribers because 90% of all people, 9-0, will open up a message from the messenger bot. It's incredible. So back in the day, when you have an email list, you should have 15,000 email subscribers because only 10% will open up an email. In this case, you only need 2,000 subscribers. You can get them into the door with a Facebook ad you can do a contest campaign or you give away uh, discounts eh, with coupons. And this is one of our clients. So we got this one up and running. Uh, 7,500 people on our list. Uh, yeah, it just in a matter of, uh, uh, of a month. 
and uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, this is not one of our campaigns, but this, they gave away one uh, year of dog uh, food. Uh, and to win discount coupons, so I said, uh, you know they are subscribed to your messenger list, so they're interested in your brand. And you can layer your offers immediately. Yeah? You can just do a broadcast right now. It can also be very beneficial for you as well, over your podcast or if you have a live Facebook, if you have a messenger list, half an hour before you go live, say, hey, here we go live in 30 minutes and I have this awesome guy uh, speaking today. And the lo yeah, it's low cost per subscriber because you already have them on your list. Yeah? And I say I go lightning fast there, eh? so I will give you the ability to download the slides in a minute. Uh, but this is basically the process. First, you need to do a lot of research. What's useful in your niche? What's interesting? Are the trending topics? What's relevant? So you're in the attraction phase. Then create a planning. Uh, strategy, objectives, targets, activities. I like to have goals because uh, if you want to do something without a goal, it's, it's just a wish. Eh? You need to have clear goals. You create your content, pictures, uh, videos, blogs. You are now in the engagement phase. You start sharing them eh, on all different platforms, the conversion phase. You gain trust, brand awareness, website traffic, the visibility. Yeah, and then, of course, uh, the seven steps of marketing. They need to see you seven times before they buy. Now they're comfortable enough to buy from you because you do an amazing job. Eh? And, uh, yeah, one of the greatest challenges companies face in adjusting to the impact of social media is knowing where to start, eh, but also how to start because, yeah, it's a lot. Eh? And, uh, yeah, I got this set up from the Amazon meetup. Uh, uh, so this is, the link still works. The, this is not the Amazon meetup, of course, but uh, uh, this is the link you can use. And yeah, if you want to book a discovery call with me and want to know more about your brand itself, you can book a free discovery call. And if you want to reach out, this is my email. So thank you for listening. I only have Paulina now on as, as live, but uh, everyone watching this recording, uh, yeah, uh, I hope you get a lot of nuggets and benefits out of this. Eh? Thank you so much. This was great. So I have a few questions for you. Is Do you have time for those? Yeah, no, no problem. Yeah, of course. Okay. So, um, you know, you, you showed how you got quick traffic from Google. There was a website that's been going flat and then went up in the last few months. Yeah. So that is unusual case, right? It's not standard to get that. You said just post good content and it could happen that you're lucky and you're going to get picked up, right? Is that yeah, I don't, something you I don't believe in luck eh, in this business. It's, it's about the TLC and, and that's why you need to do a lot of research because if you do a lot of research, you know what people love to see and love to read. That's what I say. If you have five competitors and look at what their best performing pages are, then that's probably content people love to see. And if you write about that as well, and then use social media to, to leverage the content, uh, that's, that's the most important thing, because then you will get actually traction. And yeah, Google always looks for the, the most appealing article. And if you have the most appealing article, you will beat your competition. So um, yeah, that's why you need to put in a lot of work. And uh, yeah, that's, that's why we do it for clients, because it's a lot of work. But that's the best way to do it. Eh? So it's, it's it definitely provide well quality content on a regular basis. That's basically the key. Do you know by any chance uh, when a Facebook page makes a post organically, how much, what's the percentage of the reach, like comparing to the number of page likes that the page post gets? Because you mentioned the number that you said, you know, organically it got this much views. Yeah. So is there a percentage? No, well, the, the first hour is the most important and uh, it differs all the time. But let's say we post something right now, it will be shown to 100 people. And if nobody interacts with it, it's done. It will be buried among all the other posts. Mm -hmm. And let's say 10 people say, oh, this is funny and I like this, I share this. Then it will go to, and I'm not sure about the numbers, but let's say it will go to uh, 250 people. And again, if then 10% uh, or whatever starts to interact with it, then it will go to 500 and that's why you get the oil stain or the snowball effect. You need to push it up the mountain and then it will release itself. And uh, the average engagement rate is around 10% for businesses. Of course, we have clients that do 1600%. And it's, it's, number, it's not the number of, uh, the, of likes you have, it's about the engagement. Uh, we have, let's say you have 10 likes on your page and 1,000 people interact with us. We have an amazing engagement percentage eh? and that's what uh, what facebook is looking for 
Mm, so uh, yeah, it's, it's basically the first hour is the most important, and that's why timing is of the essence. Eh? If you post stuff when nobody is online, yeah, then uh, you you will never get any anything viral. I wonder how to make the posts be more engageable. Let's say if I'm posting videos, right? Like how to make those video posts more engageable? Like you said, first three seconds count a lot. But what yeah. if you don't even want to click on the video to play it? <laughs> what, what are other things I could do to attract their attention? Well, that's why your thumbnail is so important because that's basically why they need to check it out. Eh? And unfortunately, if you run an ad, you can only do 20% text in your uh, thumbnail. But your thumbnail should uh, say what you basically are doing. Eh? Uh, because yeah, that's the most important thing. And uh, in this case, for example, uh, I, I showed you the one with the tax owned. Uh, we have some appealing text in here. Uh, 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 when you sleep next to someone that is snoring, so if this is a thumbnail, oh, I want to check this out, and then you will click on it. So it's all about. Yeah, I don't. I hate clickbait, eh? but you need to be very aware of what is uh, of people's interest. I want to see what's happening here with a dog that's uh, that's snoring. So that's why then people will click on the ad. Eh? That's that's how it goes, or in, on the ad on the post. I love your idea of posting at night because that's true. That's how I went, you know, after work, you, you kids are sleeping and then you start scrolling. You don't do it during the day, right? No, no, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, here. it's around 2 p.m. and then all the way up to, uh, to night time. And uh, yeah, just check your uh, insights, eh? go to your Facebook page, go to your insights and you see exactly when people are online. So this that's the great way idea. To there, yeah. there was a mistake that I made when uh, another business that I had and I tried to get a lot of likes and I posted just something like a heart like this page. And what happened to me was I got a lot of irrelevant likes to the page that later when I was trying to promote something that my relevance score was very low because a big bulk of my likes on the page were just random people not really interested in the business that I was doing. So yeah, now... Yeah. For like for this business, I'm completely trying a different strategy. Even if I'm posting something sort of viral or attention grabber for likes, I'm still posting something that is related. Like, for example, it would be a joke for Amazon sellers, you know, so that they yeah. would like, and then when I post regular content, they hopefully will see it and like it. Yeah, that's the way to go. Well, you see here, I, I, I do the I love you, but it is, uh, I love Daxoons. Eh? It's, it's a Daxoon page and this is a Daxoon yeah. It makes so sense. if you are in the uh, uh, selling fitness gear, don't show anything that is not sports related. Eh? Uh, the, so yeah, always be uh, on top of your niche. Yeah, there's another question about the disavow. You said that you uh, filed a disavow for all the bad links. From your experience, how long does it take to get it approved? Because I've done it before, and I think it like never got there. <laughs> the disavow. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, I think it's done very fast even because uh, Google is also about cleaning up, uh, cleaning up their act. And uh, basically what happens here, there are so many links and they think you're rigging the system. But if you say to them, we don't want those links because they are spammy. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, we see uh, every six weeks, the crawler comes into your website uh, and, and uh, crawls everything. But uh, yeah, we have seen amazing results by just uh, disavowing them. It can happen in, in weeks. I think this took us two, two weeks to do it. Okay. But again, it's a lot of work. Eh? We, you have to go through your links manually eh? because you don't want to, we, we have a saying in Alata, you don't want to throw away the baby with the bathwater. So uh, <laughs> you need to, and that's why, again, it's, it's a lot of work. It may sound very easy if I explain it, but it's the same when I have my plumbery remodeling my bathroom and I see him putting on the tiles, I think, oh, that's easy. And then I do it myself. <laughs> Everything is, is broken down. So that's why it, this is a real art form. And that's why we say we're digital blacksmiths because, uh, yeah, there comes, a, of course, a lot of uh, knowledge uh, uh, involved. Uh, and yeah, of course, we also have techniques and, and tools I cannot share right now that makes us uh, unique. But... Um, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I cannot give away all my secrets. Eh? Yeah, I, I was going to just quickly share my screen. and. Um, yeah, let me stop uh, sharing mine. Yeah, I think I uh, it did automatically. Yeah, you know, at the, uh, your website, when I first looked at it, I thought, wow, that's good branding. You know, it's really, 
it's easy to remember. That's the key with, with good branding, right? It's easy to remember and easy to convey to someone else about it. And then when I scroll through, uh, I, I noticed that you are... For a few minutes, I guess. Sorry about that. Yeah, no problem. So my, my, my website was wow. That's you, you can repeat that question. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, the website is really amazing. I I am very very impressed with the work. It's it's more about the branding that you created. You know, the actual blacksmith, the the the, the dress up, and just everything is so memorable and easy to convey to other people. So did you yourself come up with the branding, or like how did yeah. this come up? Yeah, yeah. I uh, I was talking to uh, to Norm as well uh, back in the day. Uh, when we start working together, and we do, we are not an SEO company. We're not a Facebook ad company. We also have a very different approach because everything we do, even for our companies, provides value first. And I'm I'm not here to promote my business, but even our rates are ridiculously low because we want to grow alongside with the business. Uh, we don't. What we always say to clients: I'm not interested in your money. I'm interested in your success. And uh, yeah, that's basically why we do the whole package yeah, because I showed you all the different pieces of the puzzle. You cannot say I will do only Facebook because that's not enough. You want to have the snowball effect going on. And that's why you need to do Google. You need to do Facebook. You need to do Messenger bot. And uh, yeah, that's basically a service we provide. And uh, yeah, we're a little different in, in our marketplace. And yeah, that's why I got asked as a speaker also all the time. And I, and I share everything. Eh? Uh, the, you see, I got all my tools and tips and tricks. I just give them away because, I, yeah, as I said, I don't believe in uh, uh, in competition. Eh? There's so much to go around there. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing. It's definitely very good value for everyone. I have a lot of notes and I have a to-do list to do right after this call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do another call in a month and see where like, you are with your social then. Eh? Yeah, like you use nine hashtags. I noted that, you know, I shouldn't use the 30 that I am using. <laughs> no, yeah, and, and this should be related. Eh? Even my team sometimes makes up. They posted a picture with a white uh, skirt in it and they posted the, the hashtag red you will get penalized for it it's not red it's white so don't use it interesting uh, yeah. yeah i've seen someone says diet coke hashtag on on linkedin oh, well just because linkedin recommends diet coke on that day you know the, all the tags yeah, yeah, yeah. but they, they're, 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 the algorithms are not crazy eh? those are beasts and they know everything and they don't know if you are for real if you are authentic or just some uh, spammer trying to get uh, uh, number one with black hat techniques eh? and basically yeah. using Diet Coke is a black hat technique eh? because there's nothing definitely. to do with your product or your post. Yeah, yeah, so. definitely. Guys, don't do it. <laughs> don't get your <laughs> account closed up. All right. Well, thank you very much for uh, coming uh, to our show today and um, see you soon. Yeah, thank you very much and uh, all the best. Thank, thank you for having me here.